So, hello people, how are you going today? Today's a beautiful day to make another coin video. And this one is about Slovenia. So, as you can see, I have um, the coins from 1 Stontinov to 50 Stontinov and 1 Tola to 50 Tola Rev. If you don't speak a Slavic, a Slavic language, then you like me, will not understand the plural and singular systems in Slavic. As you can see, the two tolaya and five tolayev have different um, <coughs> plural systems. So this is dual, and this is more than uh, more than two, and the singular is just tola. Anyway. That's enough about language. So, as you can see, we have aluminium, starting off coins, or should I say, 98% aluminium, 2% magnesium. Okay, these, the 1 to 5 tola, are 78% copper, 20% zinc, 2% nickel. And these ones are copper nickel coins at the standard rate of. 75% copper, 25% nickel. So, as per coin, these are probably the most expensive because nickel is pretty expensive metal to use. And that's why in uh, new coins, most countries don't use nickel at all. They use stainless steel or just steel. Generally underneath, anyway. So, all these coins are pretty much the same design. Okay. These ones are issued in 1993, as you can see from the two. This one was issued in 2000, and these two are issued in 2003. Uh, the 10 to 50 toler replaced the banknote of uh, same denomination. And these were introduced because inflation had reduced the value of the taro. And from memory, I, I remember there was like 130 taro to one Australian so and I think at the start it was only like ten dollar so inflation reduced its value quite a lot so on the reverse we have different animals as you can see here if I can zoom in okay let's go up to the aluminium coins first yes I have a new stand in it takes the um, the wobbliness out of the coin. So, on the 10 is an Olm and that is an amphibian that, well, that lives in Slovenia. Actually, all these animals live in Slovenia. Okay, this one's a long-eared owl on the 20. On the 50 is the Western honeybee. And on these it has the scientific name as well. Like this one is Oseo Otis and Proteus and Guinness. And if you're not sure about the scientific name, the first name Proteus here is the genus name and Anguinus is actually the species name. So more than one species will have the same genera name. Okay, on the one tola is a brown trout, as you can, and there's a scientific name. Now, the third name here means it's a subspecies restricted to a certain area. And a lot of species have subspecies. They're the precursor to that one species turning into two species, or maybe more. Okay, the two has the barn swallow, as you can see. It is flying. And actually, it is better than the, this one, 20 Torare, no, 20 Stoninki. Now, the owl should actually be bigger than this and take up the whole flam. Okay, the five has the Alpine Ibex. Let's go back a bit. Alpine Ibex, and as you can see, the scientific name is Capra Ibex. So the English name just comes from um, the scientific name, or maybe vice versa. 
Okay, the 10, and this one is unique, as it has braille on it. And that's the only corner that I've come across, that I can remember, that has braille. And this is just a horse. Okay, the 20 has the white stalk, also a scientific name. And the 50 has a bull. Not bad. Not bad at all. So, I've got the actual coins in. As you can see, the smaller coins are the aluminium ones are plain, as you can see here. The bra, um, yeah, I'd say probably brass. These ones are readed, fine readed. The 10 and 20 are um, coarse readed. And the 50 is interrupted milling. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. 8 ridges there. And then you've got a gap and you've got another 8. And it goes all the way around. So, these are the last coins of Slovenia. They were replaced in 2007 by the Euro at a rate of 239.64 tola to 1 Euro. So, and the last thing I just want to show you is who actually designed these coins. So we have, uh, I'm not even going to say his name, this person and this person designed the coins. And this person designed the animals. See, I can't even tell in Slavic names which one's male and which one's female. So, let me know if you're if you speak a Slavic language. Thank you very much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if not, give it a thumbs down. And let me know if you like Slovenian currency. Thank you. Have a nice day.